Hello and welcome back to Imperium Galactic Survival Tutorials. My name is Rakuna. Today I'm going to show you how to find illegal blocks on a ship and replace and remove them. As you all very know, there are tons and tons of blueprints in a workshop factory, but a lot of them are for reforged in. Now how to turn them into vanilla versions? I'll go through that with you guys. So to begin with, we're going to go into creative mode. Welcome to creative mode. Now the first thing that you need to know is how to open the item menu, which is by pressing H. And here you'll be able to filter down to any type of ship that you want and bring in any type of block that you need. You'll also need to have access to your console. Now if you don't know how to get to the console, you can go in the options, go in control, and you'll just need to find a key binding for the console. Now in my case I put it on keypad minus. So in here, I can press DI for debug info. On the top right, it gives me all the debug info that I need. My position and all that. That will come in handy later. Now what you want to do is bring in the ship that you want to adjust. Right here I got the copper jack that I built in the past for Reforge Eden. And as you can see on the left here, it is red. That's because it's illegal for vanilla. So let's bring that little sucker in. And then we can access the control panel by pressing P. Uh, first of all, as you can see, it is currently a tier 4, but it probably has all of the other CPU extenders inside that we do not need. You can always go into Device tab and locate these CPU extenders. So you can go look under Core, which is where it would auto-group, and you can locate the CPU extenders. Over here you can click Show on HUD, and it's going to show you exactly where they are. And they're all in here. By having an item selected, you can shift right click to remove the CPU extender and the tier 2 one is over here. Now the reason you want to do this is because Reforge Eden doesn't use just one tier CPU. It uses all of them. Up to one tier 2 CPU extender, two tier 3 CPU extenders and up to five tier 4 CPU extenders. Another thing that might change are the thrusters. Reforge Eden has a higher variety of thrusters, so some of them might simply disappear when you bring them in a vanilla game. In this case here, you can see that some are missing at the bottom. So by pressing H, you can go and collect the medium thrusters that you need to fix this, and you can just put them back in. Same thing with the other side, and that's okay. But I believe that was pretty much all for the thrusters. I see that we're missing some more in here. One over here, and another one on the other side. And the rest looks good. Now it would be time to find the illegal blocks. Now what you want to do is open your console command. You write PI for prefab info. And you write the name as you see it in the debug info. Write it exactly like this and it's going to give you all the illegal blocks in the ship. As you can see over here, it's using some combat steel. It's using also illegal miniguns and more combat steel. That should be an easy fix. Now we will want to replace this combat steel with normal hardened steel. So let's go find a block. And as you can see, the code for hardened steel it shows up right below if you have your debug info open. In this case, it's 393. I always like to set one down for each type of block that we are missing. Like right over here, you see that it gives you combat steel blocks combat steel blocks thin, which is this one. It also gives you small two, small six, and small three. So as you choose a shape, as you hover over them, it shows you what type of block it is. And there you go. We have all of our blocks here. Now what you want to do, you can take notes of all the numbers that are associated to each blocks. So we'll start with the normal block. Go to the console and write replace blocks. Now you got to write the ship's ID which is 9071, write the block you want to replace, 1793, and then write the block that you want to use instead, which is 383. Press enter, and it will have replaced all those blocks. Now you got to do this for all the other ones. To make things go faster, you just press the arrow button up. It'll give you the last line. So you can just replace and do that for all the other type of blocks. Now we're going to be looking at the thin blocks, which is code 3841596 and replace with 384. And there you go, that one's done. We'll do this for the extended small two. 1835, replace it with 1834. And last but not least, extended small three. 
which is 1848, and replace it with 1847. And that should be it for the hull blocks. Now we can remove these ones, always by shift right clicking. Now what we'll do is we'll take our minigun turret. The code for the minigun turrets are 345. For some reason, Reforge Eden uses a different code for them. So you can do the same thing. So this minigun turret is called 648, and we're gonna replace it with 345. And there you go. Now I think we've replaced every little aspect that we needed to make this valid. Now what we can do by holding Alt and O, we can save this as a new blueprint. So I like to call them V Copper Jacket. V for vanilla. Now to see if your blueprint is valid, you're gonna go look inside of your blueprint. As you can see, it's still red, meaning there's still something up with it. So I can bring it in. And now after that, when I work from this one, I can simply override every time. So tell me, what is wrong with you? So again, prefab info. This time we can write V dash copper jacket. So here it shows that we still have a combat extended small six that we haven't replaced. I might have missed that earlier. Now this makes sure to get the new ID since this is a new ship that has been brought in. So we want to replace the 2047 Hull Combat Extended Small 6 with 2046, which is a Hull Armored Extended Small 6. Place three blocks. Now we can remove this one and we can try and save it again. Overwrite since we're overwriting our vanilla version. Now, if we go and press F2 again to go into blueprints, you can see that it is no longer red. It is now a valid vanilla version of the blueprint. Now, it may look like we're done, but we gotta do one last check. Make sure to look around if you're not missing any thrusters. Like, as you can see here, I miss a couple of thrusters over here. So let's just slap him in. And that is done. Now, the other thing you might want to check by going in the P menu, go into devices and go on top. It'll tell you if it's missing anything. Reforge Eden has a wider variety of generators also. And as you can see, they were removed when we brought in the copper jacket. So you just need to go inside and find the gaps. As you can see over here, there is room for two generators. And there you go. Two generators are in. And now our ship should be good to go. Do one last save, overwrite, and the copper jacket is now ready. You can always take it for a little test drive. Go up, down, left, right, to see if they're missing anything. And at the same time, pay close attention to the generator usage. You can try and practice around with this. It might take a little getting used to. So let's do another one real quick. This one is the Firefly Backup which was one of my backups for my scenarios. I'm gonna go PI, then we can write the name as written up here. And it'll give me a list of what is missing. Now over here, since this was made in Reforge Eden, they have a wider variety of lights you can use on small vessels. And again, we still have the turret minigun problem. So we can easily replace the blocks for the turrets since we've done it on the last one. So write the blueprint ID, which is 9073. Write the current minigun, 648, and replace it with the 345. So all the miniguns have been replaced. Now all we gotta do now is find the lights. Now you can easily identify the light by going in the device menu on the control panel by pressing P. You can go look under lights and we can just show them on HUD. Click for each one of them, it'll give us the positions. You can also replace this by using the replace blocks function, but I believe for lights it is always better to replace them manually. So let's just remove them by holding shift right click. And we can simply put normal lights instead, which are right here. And there you go. Putting two normal lights then. And after that, again, you can always save a new blueprint by pressing Alt-O. And you can do save as and change it for the vanilla firefly. Now that the blocks have been replaced, you can also check CPU statistics. Right now we have an issue. As you can see, it has a tier 2 and one tier 3 CPU extenders. What we want to do is replace the tier 2 CPU extender and add another tier 3 to make it valid. Again, 
into devices, I am going to show on HUD where both of them are. As you can see, they're behind here. So let's remove the tier two CPU extender. And now we just need to make a little bit of room for the tier three CPU extender. And there you go. Looking at the CPU statistics, everything is according to plan. Over here, we clearly see that we are missing some thrusters. Let's replace that real quick. And there you go. After that, you can take the time to uh, retexture everything so the color matches. And you can do one last save. Vanilla Firefly, and you can just overwrite. As you can see over here, when I look in my blueprint factory, it is no longer red, meaning it's okay and ready to go. Well, guys, I hope you learned a little something, and if you have any questions, feel free to write to me in the comments, and I'll get back to you. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like the video. And I will see you next time. So until then, take care and stay safe. Raccoon out.